Hey guys, the Trout91 here, and today we're doing the Og Habar in the Custom Class Guide. And the Og Habar is a um, gun with a medium to fast rate of fire with a good amount of damage, low recoil, good iron sights, but unfortunately has low ammo, and I suggest handguns or machine pistols as you them. I like to go with the extended mags if I have them available, otherwise I'll go with the grip. Uh, if you don't like the iron sights, I suggest going with the holographic with the slight of hand, stopping power, and steady aim. This gun is a lot like an assault rifle, but with the power and characteristics of an LMG. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite have the ammo capacity as a normal LMG, which is why I suggest putting on the extended mag so you don't have to reload as you'll see. I have to do that a fair bit here in this clip. It can be quite problematic at times, so I definitely suggest trying to keep yourself uh, backed up in case something does go wrong. Now the second one I would pick is the blinged out Gripen FMJ. Now the AUG has a fairly good bullet penetration through objects, but it can be a lot better with FMJ and on a map like Terminal or Favela where there's a lot of walls and stuff, it's good to have it and the grip reduces the recoil to practically nothing. It's kind of like a rigor mortis death ray, I suppose. And the third one is an unusual one because I like to go those long kill streaks. I'll usually put on scavenger, but I like to put danger close on as my secondary, not my secondary, my secondary perk, and put like RPGs or AT4s as my secondary. And it's a very good combination because I get the added bonus of having great air support, and it's usually very good at hitting those higher kill streaks. And the AUG is a very powerful weapon, so. It's not a necessity to have stopping power, but with it you get a two bullet to kill, which is very nice. And that's pretty much all I've got for the Og Habar. They're, if you're wondering why they, I didn't pick the thermal, it's because this gun's very much like an assault rifle, so I can rush around and do whatever I want with it. If you do like having the thermal on it, it's pretty good, I won't lie simply because of the very very low recoil on this gun, it's very very good and if you bling it out with the grip it's practically death season for everyone else so just uh, play around with this gun, it's a very good one, you can't do much wrong with it and I will see you later for the M240, peace out